everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2 Storm of Zeheer. Last episode, we finally made it into Crossroad Keep and made our way towards, well, the people who have hired us, effectively, and learned exactly what our task basically is to do right now. And, quite simply, it's to rebuild the, uh, the company and make it strong again. So, that is indeed going to be our task. We need to set up trade posts, trade bef between locations, bring trade bars back to Varial here, so that we can upgrade this place, get more merchants. This is going to be a very interesting kind of thing. I'm guessing this is... yeah, that's basically what we can do with cohorts and the like. Not going to do that now. That said, with that explored, the time has come that we need to actually go out and explore uh, Crossroad Keep. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, I do hope Deacon is still here somewhere. Let's see. So that's what used to be the old, uh... the old temple, but it looks like it's closed. Get in step. Follow me. Can you unlock it? Somehow I doubt it. Nope. Specific yes. key required. Okay, let's see what else we have out here, now that we can actually look around. And we have Jacoby! Ah, he was the... Armor or Weapon Master? If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, I'd like to ask you about Ilfos and Kizu. Yes, we do have a few other questions. Those merchants who up and disappeared a while back. Can't say I knew them well, but ask away. Any idea what happened to them? Those buildings they bought cost a fair bit of coin. I'd wager that they caught the attention of the wrong sort of people and... Well, I'm sure you can guess the rest. So you don't think they simply abandoned their operation? Nobody would throw that much gold down and simply walk away from it all. Not willingly, anyway. Was there anything unusual about them? Not as far as I could tell. They were aloof and all business. Ilfos was tall and solemn, Kizu short and comely. Both not big talkers. At least not to me, or anyone I know. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Tell me about being a merchant. Me? A merchant? Ah, it's a bit much for me, really. Never thought of myself as that. Just a blacksmith. But I suppose there was one time where I was working on something, and the night captain came by with a serious look on their face. And the look on Aldenon's face was so priceless, we both nearly passed out from laughter. <laughs> ah, those were the days, plus the night captain's name. Alright, let's see what you have for sale. Indeed. We don't have much to sell, but let's see. We got... Okay, he seems to have the basic kind of gear, though. He does have plus one gear as well, which is fairly nice. Weaponry is also the same. Although I believe our weaponry is okay at the moment. He's got some crafting items as well. Ah! Interesting. I think we should get a few of these. Beast Bane, Construct Bane weapon. We already have a full plate. So we don't really need that. Yeah, may as well. Okay, researching merchants. You've spoken with one merchant about their experiences. Five more to go. Okay, so we can talk to various merchants we see and learn about them in order to become merchants. This is a group. Van William Lila Azar. You're wasting your time here. There isn't an ounce of life left in this place. What? Because you'll think you could draw a cr you you'll think you could draw a crowd? In a respectable area, certainly, which is what we imagine the Great Crossroad Keep was. But I see we were mistaken. I must say, I'm disappointed. The legendary Night Captain is nowhere to be found, and there's a very surly dwarf in charge instead. Who is the Night Captain? You don't know. Now there's a story. A long story, so you'd better sit down. Oh. And that's how it ends. 
Not spectacular, I agree, but I'm pretty sure there's more to the tale than we know. Are you planning on standing mu are you planning on staying much longer? Perhaps a few days more. Your arrival might just make things interesting again. I think we'd have better luck in Neverwinter. Nobody here but farmers. I think it was a mistake to come here. There's nobody here. Well met again. We're still here, as you can see. How long have you been here? A few days only. We're originally from Cormier, but we've heard but we heard the tales of this place and had to come look for ourselves and earn some coin, of course. Uh whatever did happen to the night captain? No one knows for sure. Could be in the abyss, could be in Halrua. Could be combing soon's hair for all we know. Now there's a song the masses would like to hear, I tell you what. Are you planning on staying much longer? Okay. Well, let's move on. There. Fariba. A moment of your time, if you please. How can we help you? I'm collecting donations to help the less fortunate in Neverwinter. Could you spare a few coins? Will a uh, hundred coins do? You're too generous, kind soul. A whole neighborhood will be praising you. A hundred coins is fine. Sure, we have plenty, but we're merchants. We need it. Alright. Phoenix Tail in. Let's take a look. People actually sitting in chairs. Don't see that much. Food's good today. The night captain will be back someday. I know it. Table's full. Find another place to sit. New faces in the keep, I see. You planning on hunting the wards, too? Wards? Hmm. Even your shy knows words do not belong here. Aye, it's strange indeed. Something's been driving them out of Neverwinter Wood near as I can tell. With any luck, I'll bring a few down and track the rest back to their lair. Maybe then I can find what's going on. I should try to find them and give them peace. Thank you for the knowledge, brother. May Ubtha smile upon smile on. Um sure. You too. Indeed. And he's leaving. I would have asked to join, but oh well. Uh let's see. Leader Daija. Lender Daija. May your day be profitable, friend. I am Daisha, cleric of Joaquin. Well met, sister. May your day be profitable as well. And to you, my brother. It is always a pleasure to meet someone of the faith. What are you doing here in the keep? I'm supposed to be running the shrine here at the keep, but the funds I was promised have not been provided. I understand that Lady Sasani is now in charge. Perhaps that will change. Well, maybe I could give you the funds. Tempting, but Joaquin would frown on such charity, I fear. The trade must be upheld by the ones who initiated the deal in the first place. However, I thank you for the offer. I could use some healing. Golden Lady, heal this one of their wounds and make them whole and worthy. Okay. What are you doing here in the key? Okay. No, oh, there we go. That's not bad. We'll do it. Greetings! I hear you're supposed to be with the new merchant company here, right? Yeah, uh, you'd best believe it. The largest merchant company on Toril before long. Mark my words. Ha! <laughs> well, you talk a big deal, stranger, but it makes me a bit gladder knowing you might be good at what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe that sale didn't sell me a bad place after all. So, what can I do for you? Know any rumors? Yeah, something shady's going on up in Port Last. Never been there myself, but a brother-in-law once owned some land up there. Anyhow, someone said Luskins, but you know about talk. Could be nothing, could be something. Know any rumors? Uh, just Port Last again. The only rumor is something up in Port Last. Alright. And that appears to be everyone in the tavern here. Let's head out. Oh, another guest book. Really? Here? Huh. Interesting. Don't need to do anything there. Especially because our characters are over in the other location. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Dared! Well now, and... There's a whole bunch of adventurers guild. Hmm. Welcome, fellow adventurer. Welcome. The guild is not yet open, but it will be soon. What's this guild? 
It will be one of the finest schools for adventurers in the Sword Coast. Within you will learn to be more effective as a team, whether in combat or traveling through the wilderness. What makes you qualified to teach these things? Experience, friend, experience! My comrades and I were students of the Night Captain, and we decided it was time to pass what we learned on to other adventurers. Right. When will it be opening? I'm still waiting for my comrades to arrive, but it should only be a matter of days. What's this guild? Okay. How much will this cost? Well, it won't be free, of course, but I'm sure you'll find our training is well worth it. Adventurers Guild, A. Eh? How very curious. Uh, there's a worker back here. Looks like that's about all there is back here. Alright. Let's head to the keep itself. See what we can find inside. Well, it does look nice. Keeps all nice and built up. Walls here are relatively built up. It's repaired and everything. It's still disappointing that the tower is missing. You'd think it would be there. Alright. Can we go in? We can! Okay. Ah, good to be here. Let's see what's inside. A fine structure. Room enough for you shy to roam. You. I have seen you in my dreams. It is you. I have seen you in my dreams. She was speaking, but very quietly. Um, uh, let's see. I can see she says sister would agitate you so. Okay. Uh, how can I help you? She came in here looking for you, lass. I tried to shoo her, but she didn't move a muscle till you showed. I came here all the way from Evermeet because my goddess, blessed the name of Angaroth, sent me. A dire fate awaits the elven race if I did not find you, she said. Indeed, all the races. Uh, jeez, we are just nothing but hostile to her. That's, that's kind of cruel. I'm not part of some stupid prophecy, am I? No, it does not seem so. It was not fate that brought you here. That I can divine. But nonetheless, the Triune Goddess tells me you are positioned such that your deeds affect factors beyond your ken, and I must be here to aid you. Allow me to travel with you. My spear is yours, to aid you as you see fit. That you live, that you do what you feel you must, whenever it is that the time comes, if the time does come, that is all I ask. All right, you can join me. I fear you have too many followers at present. I shall retire to a suitable location and wait for your convenience. Okay then. That was very random. We'll have to find her and talk to her. For now, Symbia and Neverwinter and Waterdeep. There's a lot of dignitaries here. Let's speak with Kalgar. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I must say, your outfit marks you as one of the Neverwinter Nine. Only temporary. Lord Nasha thought folks would pay more attention this way. <laughs> if I need someone's attention, I'll get it with my fists. How is the keep doing? Same as it was before you got here. Can't say Sasani's business is making it. Business is making any difference. Got any jobs for me? I'd rather not have Sasani complaining that I'm stealing her people. Come back after you've taken care of some of her tasks. Yeah? What's with the dignitaries? Oh, they're here to negotiate trade treaties. Or revise them, or something. I wasn't listening, they talk too much. And apparently it's undiplomatic to simply punch the ones I don't like. Bah! Yeah, kinda. The dwarf actually refused my bribe. How uncivilized. 
Waterdeep is offering its help. Why is Neverwinter so reluctant to take it? Lord Ironfist is no diplomat. The Council should never have put him in charge. All right. And this is the library. Doesn't look like there's anything of use in here. And it doesn't look like we can explore very much here. All right. Well, let's see if we can find that person who showed up here. Surprisingly, there's less to the keep than I thought there would be. Oh well. I mean, there were a few things, but... I guess we need to take care of some of these tasks. Right. She's probably in the merchant headquarters. That would make sense. Let's see, probably in here. Yes, there she is. Sore Vora. Sore Vora Iravand. That is a name. And she's a spear woman. Okay. I am here to aid you. Okay. Well, we need to replace someone with her, so let's go to the book. Let's let's replace uh what's her name? Lastry. And let's see what Sore Vora is like. Okay, nothing there. Sorevora! You actually have a few things that need to be identified. Sorevora's chain. Crafted by the finest artisans of ever meet, this beautiful chain seems meant for none but Sorevora. Though hidden underneath a tabard, the chain above the, wear the wearer's heart indicates the triple circle emblem of the goddess Ang Angarad, the favorite deity of the strange elder elf. Plus two armor bonus, reflex saves, chaotic good. And she's a favored soul, just like we are. Well, that's interesting. And we have Sorevora's spear. Sacred weapon of the Elvis and goddess Angarad, the spear is wielded with care and fervor by Sorevora, one of her favored souls. Okay, first things first. Get those identified so that they can be. Thank you. So you are a favored soul. We already have one. Let's see here. Skills. You have Concentration, Heal, and Spellcraft. That's it! Huh. Not that great. She's got Toughness, Augment Healing, Empower Spell, hmm. And, let's see, what spells does she have? Standard there. Cause Fear, Cure Light Wounds, Divine Favor, Protection from Alignment, Sanctuary Shield of Faith. Here she has Aid, Bull of Strength, Cure Moderate Wounds, Hold Person, and Silence. Cure Serious Wounds, Dispel Magic, Magic Circle Against Alignment, Searing Spell, and an Empowered Cure Light Wounds. And Divine Power, Freedom of Movement, and Restoration. So, she seems to be kind of a mix. That's one combat spell she has. And I think that's about it. As interesting as it is, as she is, Indeed. we're already a favored soul. We're level 9, almost level 10. As interesting as you might be to take with us, Sorevora, I don't think we really what need you. Will? Like I said, we already have a favored soul. So, while we appreciate yes. you wishing to join us, I think we'll go back to what we had before. We'll take last three with us. Aye. Besides, she's at about the same level. Actually, what level is Inshula? Yes. Follow my time. You're level six. Yeah, there's no real point in taking her with Indeed. us. Not with her so low. So, we're kind of stuck with Emoja and Lastry at the moment. I think there is a way that we'll learn later on to get people to leveled up to our level, but I think that's closed at the moment. Anyway.
We still have some time. How about we go to the nearby, uh... Ah, there it is. Oh. We've... That's interesting. We've never actually been in this part of the keep before. This area was always, like, blocked off or something. I never saw their stairs. Interesting. Alright, sure, let's go to the yes. nearby town, see what we need to do in order to, uh... Set up. Set up a trading post. Because I'm pretty sure that's something we need to d get done. Fortunately, there's a town right here that is very simple and, well, it won't be getting us much, but we can at least see. Hi, Cliff. Inquire about establishing a trading post. In conversation with the trade master of High Cliff, she informs you that the town requires you to provide 100 trade bars and 5 units of timber to construct a trading post. Okay. What about this other town that's far to the south here? What is it? Leilon. It's a bit further, but that would also be more profitable. Oh crap, why are you... Oh crap. Well, I guess we're going to be dealing with them. Alright, throw them off guard. I guess we're going to be fighting this monstrous band because the wrong group was here. Yes, I can accomplish this task. Orc lead. It's a whole bunch of orcs. They're strong. Getting a few spells out, which is good. Well, they are actually very strong, which is kind of concerning. You can do some backstabs, I think. Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Okay. Our healers are dead. I need to see if we can do healing a different way. Okay. Everyone's dead. You can't drink any potions. You can't do anything. Oh, crap. Well, I gotta reload. Okay, I hadn't saved, so I had to quickly run through all of that again. Why are you in charge? You should be the leader out here. Alright. I'm going to go run down, take a look, as I said, at the other town. So I want to see what we need to upgrade that one. Hopefully it's not timber, because while we do have some resources, maybe there's some way we can do it quickly. I have a feeling it's probably going to be more expensive. But it'll be interesting to see. This way we'll be able to compare what the different things are like. Almost. And here we are. Leilon. Inquire. 300 trade bars and 5 units of skins. Okay, that explains it. Alright, so, timber... I guess we may as well. It's a simple enough task. Expensive, which I don't like. But there, five units of timber. Bring it up immediately and we'll establish a trade post. And that seems like a decent way to end the episode. Probably should have found a better place to buy it, as the timber was expensive. But what's done is done. It's a bit of a run, but at least we're we're completing this. And Highcliff.
Ah, uh, yes. Construct the trading post. You establish a trading post with the town in Highcliffe. You can now visit this location to set up caravans or return cargo to your storage at Crossroad Keep. Trade with Highcliffe. Okay, that's basic trading. Visit your company's trading post in Highcliffe. You enter the tra you enter your merchant company's trading post. Check the status of your caravans. Crossroad Keep to Highcliffe. It is a short distance via heavily patrolled roads to go between Crossroad Keep and Highcliffe. While this much exploited route can only provide a trickle of income, it is a steady source for merchants who shy away from riskier trade routes. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else. And now we know all the towns we have here. Crossroad Keep, Neverwinter, Leilon, Coneyberry, Newleaf, Highcliffe, Phandalin, Thundertree, Portlast, and West Harbor. Okay. Uh, let's see. What if we construct a caravan? From Highcliffe to Crossroad Keep. 1,000 gold. Eh, we can establish it. Under construction. Okay. We're not going to upgrade it yet. Uh, let's visit the main room. Take a look here. Oh, we've got workbenches, which is good. Interesting side room here. And here we have a trader. Everyone come in close, please. Thank you. Welcome to the trading post. Let me know if there's anything you need. And yeah, show me what you have in stock. Minor circlet blasting, not really much of anything else. And, oh, there's actually a portal here. It doesn't go anywhere. I imagine we could use this portal to go back to where we need to. Check the status of my caravans. It's under construction. Cargo return to Crossroad Keep. Oh! So we can actually take what we have here and put it into Crossroad Keep for free storage. I like that idea. That way we don't have to be carrying it all the time. Alright, we have to return to Sasani to get more instructions. Oop, 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 oop. Sure, yes. You're taking the lead out here. There we go. Oh! Greetings, you honor us with your presence. Well, that's very interesting. Is the caravan still under construction? In transit to Crossroad Keep. Well, that's interesting. And it's an income of 20 trade bars, which isn't much. Alright, let's watch it arrive. It's 2,000 gold to upgrade, to upgrade it, but we're not going to bother. We're not going to help with that fight right now. And it made it to Crossroad Keep. Okay, you know what? Let's let's keep away from there for now. It's a lot of hostile creatures. All right. Uh, visit your merchant headquarters. All right. And while I'd love to speak again, I'm going to have to end this episode here because it's gone on long enough, unfortunately. Next episode, we'll speak with uh, Sasani and see what we're supposed to do next. Now that we have a caravan and we have a trading post, this should be interesting. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is Alice Starshield, Mr. Magellan, Julian uh, Bronzeberry, Alan Strata, Umoja, and Lastry Cassere. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2 Storm of Zahir. And I shall see you all next time.